want to show you something really incredible. This is a crash between a deputy and an 18 wheeler hauling 25 tons of sand. You can see the patrol car is dented and in a ditch. That 18 wheeler is in a field flipped over on its side. Some of the sand spilling out. What's incredible is that no one was seriously hurt in this. Channel 9's Ken Lemon is live near the scene in Iredell County. Ken, have you learned how this happened? Yeah, I have from troopers. That deputy apparently was coming through this intersection right here, getting onto Highway 150. At the same time that that truck was coming by, the two collided here. And right over here, you can see the skid marks on the road. That deputy's car was tossed about right here. And that truck kept going over there, landing in that area where it spilled several tons of that sand. Chopper 9 Sky Zoom was over the crash minutes after it happened. You can see the damage to the passenger side of Iredell County Deputy C. James Cruiser after that crash with the truck hauling 25 tons of sand. Officials say it's like being hit with the weight of two bulldozers at once. But Deputy James walked away from the crash. The truck driver had a shoulder injury. Somebody was watching over him for sure. Michael Burdett was remodeling the house across the street with Oscar Brown. They heard the horn from the truck and looked over. It's like, oh dear, somebody's, somebody's going to get hurt. Both men ran over to help. You know, both of them were in shock. The, the sheriff, you know, had a faint look to his face. And Troopers say the driver saw the collision coming and made an important last second decision. Looking at the damages between the two cars, uh, it looks like the cars definitely tried to swerve to avoid each other, so it definitely could have been a lot worse. I'm glad that it wasn't. Troopers say they haven't collected enough information to determine what led to the crash and who was at fault. The sheriff said he will also conduct an internal investigation to make sure that Deputy James, a veteran officer, followed department protocol. And the sheriff says it doesn't appear that Deputy James was responding to a call at the time. He works with the Sex Offender Registry Division, may have been working a call in this area and returning back when that incident happened here. He is now off duty recovering from those minor injuries, Allison. Really, it's incredible they were just minor. What a close call. Ken, thanks.